smile at me, you fuckface. Josh, um, we appreciate you being here. We yeah. had fun with that scene. You're a fantastic actor as well as being a fantastic comic. Uh, but now, now we fucking perp. Now we turn it up a little bit with this uh, segment called Bad Cop, Bad Cop. It's more of an interrogation. Okay, so same. we're in like an interrogation room? Yep, that's the way to see the screen. It's an interrogation room. Okay, so uh, you figure it out in your own head. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just like. So, Josh, do you understand? Bad cop, bad cop. Just be direct with the answers. Yes. We're gonna be a little more uh, hostile with these uh, questions. Go ahead, man. Okay, I can take we, it. Here we go. Josh, your name is Josh Adam Myers. Why three names? What are you hiding? Not hiding anything. When I was a new comic, I ran into Bobby Lee at a supermarket and I said, hey, I want to be a comic. He goes, what's your name? I said, Josh Myers. He goes, you can't be Josh Myers. That's Seth Myers' brother. You have to have a different name. Is so, he a comic, Josh Myers? I mean, not really. He's an actor, you right. know, but he, uh, you know, he's he was kind of successful. He was on that 70s show. Right. And so I, I went through like 10 different types of names. One of them, I'm not going to lie, was J Money. I'm not proud of that. Right. But only for an open mic. And then eventually I just decided on Josh Adam Myers. And uh, now it sticks. Do people miss Jay Money on the black circuit? Oh, they loved him. Okay. He was real pop. Kick it! Josh, your name is Josh Adam Meyer. Is it because your name is Josh Adam and you married Oscar Meyer, but instead on keeping your name because you're a feminist? Next question. That's ridiculous. Fine. I'll do the follow-up. Josh... Your name is Josh Adam Meyer. When you chose to keep your name, Josh Adam, did your husband, Oscar Meyer, accuse you of being full of baloney? I, I don't know. How do you answer that? Yes. Get him, Justin. Josh, you moved from Washington, D.C. to Los Angeles. What prompted you to move from politics to podcasting? It is it city law that everyone has to have a podcast now? I don't know, you in tell... LA, is it city law that you have to have a podcast if you live in the city within uh, the city limits? Well, I don't know. Uh, how, Justin? Let me ask you: When you have three of them, mm -hmm. and I've just got one, mm -hmm. mm. I detect some bitterness there. He can't flip the but investigation. But I detect some bitterness there. Go ahead. Is it because? Of... All right. Maybe I'm overcompensating. But that's none of your fucking business. Mikey. I just like to do one, you know, stay with one. But Josh, do you think that people with a lot of podcasts have small penises? Fuck. I'm just, hey, no, I'm asking, I'm asking a question. question. Calm down. Calm down, Justin. Do you think, th was that what you were getting at with the overcompensation thing? Is that what you were getting at? <sighs> is my lawyer here soon? Because this is getting a little out of I'm control. sorry, I forgot that he was Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> back. We're back. Josh. You invented the goddamn Comedy Jam, yeah. a show where comics sing well-known songs accompanied by a live band. Why do you take the Lord's name in vain in your title? Is it because you want to sing other people's songs, but in hell? It's against Christianity, goddamn. Goddamn. Taking the Lord's name. But you don't care because you're it, Jewish. It's just, you guys, it just, you guys listen, believe in a holding Officer, power. officer, it just sounds cool. Right. It's like the Catalina wine mixer. Just sounds like it should right, be. Right, right. Do you think it sounds cool to Christ? I'm Jewish, so mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. Just a carpenter to you, right? Just a carpenter to you. Just a union guy. Some long-haired hippie. Just a union guy to with you. With some crazy ideas. I did agree about that last part, if I'm being honest with you. I mean, I'm not, not 100%. Not, I'm, You're still on the force, right? I'm on the force. Josh, when did you come up with the concept of goddamn Comedy Jam? Was it after you were dumped by your Japanese girlfriend, karaoke? We used to do a... Uh, show that was at this small theater in Los Angeles mm -hmm. called the Unknown Theater that Sarah Tiana and Lara Valdivia used to run and the show was kind of garbage but it was in this cool theater and the owner of the place was a uh, was a very artistic guy and he had all these musical instruments and so after the show we used to pull all the instruments out and we just jam and right. I I wasn't a very good comic at the time because I just started I was probably two months into comedy right. so I kind of led the the jam, right. and I started noticing that the audience stuck around and enjoyed the singing more than they enjoyed the actual comedy. Right. And so I had met the band, LMNOP, and then we sat on the idea for about four years, and then my Japanese karaoke girlfriend right. said, you should do that, and I was like, okay. 
I fucking knew it. There's, yep. there, I knew there's always like a woman at the bottom of it. There really is. There really the is. Thing. Heartbreak. Yeah. No disrespect, Shannon. And taken. Message to Katie, no disrespect. Message to Katie, no disrespect. Message but to you, Carol, no disrespect. Message to Carol. Josh, did any of the bands get mad that you're using their songs to profit, or are they all dead from drugs and alcohol? All dead from drugs and alcohol. That's good. That's smart. Josh. My favorite song is the theme from Rocky. How could I do goddamn comedy jam? Get on stage and shadow box to the music? That would be great. That there's no be... words. No, there's gonna fly now. Oh. Oh, getting stronger. Getting, getting stronger. Gonna fly now. Because the song's called Gonna Fly Now, so you have to sing that. I have to sing that, but in in between, would it be out of line to no, shadow box? Could. That would be hysterical. And then do maybe some other Can you do routine that? calisthenics? At, 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 no, at I'm Houston? in good shape, dude. I'm I mean, in good shape. I mean, you are built like Ernest Biner. We said it last night on the couch. Uh, I said you're built like a like a running back, bro. Like a guy who fumbles at the most critical moment. Is that what you're saying I'm doing on this podcast right now? Fumbling it? I mean, I didn't realize you would God know. God damn it. I didn't realize God you know his it. career you know, highlights. Because it's, it's, it's subtle. But what he's doing is he's taking shots to break up the fastest rising podcast. He's taking shots at us. Here's my what I think. Ernest you know, Spiner, you don't think I know what that means? I do know. You, I'm a I'm a Browns fan. Go hard with Are the you next really? three and just drill them. Just drill them right now. Hit me, Josh. You are Josh Meyer, the comic. S add the fucking Josh S. Meyer's the comic. Josh. <laughs> You are Josh Myers, the comic. Josh Meyer. There is also Josh Myers, the hockey player. Did you goddamn comedy jam a person? Holy shit. Is there a hockey player named Josh yes, Myers? Yes, there is. I, look, I did research. It's a research-based podcast. It's, very a, research it's a very popular name. There was actually an episode of Roseanne where they crashed a bar mitzvah, and the bar mitzvah boy, guess what his name was? Josh, Josh Meyer. Josh Meyer. Josh Adam. You know about the bar mitzvahs, don't you? Of course I do. He, I bet you used to dance at bar mitzvahs. Like I used to, to dance at my bar mitzvah. I no, was but sick. I'm talking about I was like a, you were the guy that led like no. the cha cha slide. No, but that guy made out he... with my mom. Oh, come mine. on. Really? Come yeah, on. Yeah, he was dressed like Superman. He made out with my mom. Wow. Josh. I am Mike Vecchio in the comic, and there is Mike Vecchio in the hockey player. Do you think I should confront him by singing the song Eyes of a Stranger by the band Queensryche? Oh, 100 Would that be a kick-ass L.A. way of confronting him? That would be the most... I mean, if, and if you follow that up with the opening to Silent Lucidity, uh, I mean, yes, dude. Yeah. Of course. Isn't it weird that we're both comics and we both have hockey players named after us? Do you really have a Mike Vecchione? Yes. Are you I Mike think, Vecchione? Mike Vecchione. Who's he play for? He plays for the Flyers. He plays for the wow. Guido. Wow. Yeah. I do get it. Shannon didn't get it, but that was fucking really was solid, typing. Shannon. I did. I was looking at Mike Vecchio on the hockey player. Michael Vecchio on the hockey player and bring up Josh Meyer, the hockey player. It's not Josh Myers. It's Josh Meyer, the hockey ah. player. Ah. And I think that if our hockey guys played each other, then it would finally end all this tension that we have between us. You know, do you think? No, it's Josh. You got to pull up Josh Meyer, oh, not sorry. Josh Adam. Josh Meyer, the hockey player. Oh. No, it is Myers. Josh Myers, the hockey player. Who's he play versus for? Versus Mike Vecchione, the hockey player. Who's he play for? I don't know. Maybe the the California sing song ladies. <laughs> <laughs> it's so oh, stupid. Of, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll search for it. Okay. We'll have to search for it. We'll get back to you on that, Josh. Cool. Josh, you are a voice on the Netflix cartoon F is for Family. How easy is voiceover work? Shouldn't the show be called F is for free money? Oh my God, you <laughs> couldn't be speaking more of the truth. Is it true? It is the easiest, mm -hmm. most fun job you could ever possibly mm. have to, to go into a room that's literally a mile from where I live. And, is fun and job your Indian boss? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's always funny. I'm sorry. We got to get to the bottom. Is it as funny as Neil deGrasse Tyson? <laughs> no, it's funny. That's that's the that, dude. That's the riff of the podcast. We the got fun a, job. Fun job. Uh, it's the easiest job in the world. I show up. Uh, they make me breakfast. I go into a booth for an hour at the most, an hour. Uh, and you're hanging out with the creators, one of the creators of The Simpsons. It's the best. Wow. Do you, I love it. Do you shower in money in the morning? Uh, take a shower of money. It, it's it pays scale. Yeah. So it's SAG scale is you know is it it's it's a it's it, pay, it pays it pays rent for a month. Right. 
but uh, depending on how many episodes. Right. So every time I do it, like I've done five episodes this season. So it's it's great. I thank you, Bill Burr. I love you to death. You're the fucking man. Bill Burr, other people have great voices too. Message to Bill Burr. Message you to just Bill did Burr. a movie with him. Message to Bill Burr. Um, we, a, a lot of us have great, I mean, Josh is an unbelievable voice and we're not at that level, you, but um, we could be other characters. La, 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 You know what I mean? You know what I, mean? La, I mean, I've got a voice la, too. La, 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 Mike, you la, just la, did, la, you just did a movie that's where the people movies are going to have to do you lines to be in the voice stuff. movies. I want to be in the, the voice, voice business, Josh. Okay. Well, you know, smoke cigarettes and, and vomit a bunch from opiate use and your vocal cords will sound like I'll you. get doing on it that. I will do it. I will fucking do that dude you don't know how much I want to be in this business I will do it I will do it what's it called Justin <laughs> vape uh, uh heroin vomiting fentanyl fentanyl oh I will do fentanyl I will do cat tranquilizers Josh you're a voice actor on F is for Family. Now, is it really your voice, or is Vince Neil doing your voice like a reverse comedy jam? Reverse comedy jam. Is that possible? Has that ever happened? You show up for work, Vince Neil is there. <sighs> he, we spend some time together, yes. Damn it, I knew it. My ex-girlfriend is uh, married to Tommy Lee. Get out of here. Yeah, I swear to God. Oh, my God. Do you know what's crazy? Is that I was so obsessed with Motley Crue mm -hmm. when I was a little kid. That I remember one time in like 1993, I was watching the American Music Awards and Motley Crue lost to Poison, right? Mm, right. And I'm in my parents' bedroom and I started crying. I think we all did. Yeah. It was <laughs> bullshit. For Unskinny Bop, that piece of shit song right, is better right, than right. Kickstarter. What's it even about? All right. Now he's bopping your skin. Unskinny Bop. So I'm crying. My dad walks in and he's like, What's wrong? And I look at him and I'm like, they lost the poison. And my dad's like, who died of poison? <laughs> That's uh, mm. just, and then you skip ahead 20 That's... years later, 20, no, fucking almost, almost 30 years, 28 years probably. And now my ex-girlfriend who I was engaged to. Is dating Tommy Lee. D married. Married to Tommy Lee? Married. Do you ever ask her what's it like to go uh, to a smaller penis? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. You are the your fucking is, man. You're huge. It's it's, it's thick. Justin texted me today. Just mm. caught a glimpse of Josh in the shower. I knew somebody was it's touching me in the middle of the night. Unbelievable. This guy's got heard it. Unbelievable. He's a three-legged Jewish monster in my shower. I'm and you guys got to go to fan questions. I have to duck out. You do? Yeah. You guys, can well, you guys finish it up? I'm sorry. Here's what we it. have to do. Why don't Let's we do this? Out. Let's do this. Why don't we forget fan questions? Let's just, we'll scrap those and let's just go to the positive reward system and end this episode. I got to go right now. It's 3.02. Go. <laughs> I love you guys. I love, love you, you too, buddy.